Did you know that you could hook ChatGPT up to more than 8,000 tools to help you automate tasks that you do manually every single day? For example, things like email, running reports, or even checking messages on Slack or WhatsApp. Or maybe you didn't realize that you can now get ChatGPT to automate anything that you do inside of a browser. Well, those two things are absolutely nothing because by the end of this video, you're gonna learn about 10 hidden settings and features that are now available on ChatGPT to help you automate your work. Because if you're not using these things, you're not using ChatGPT to its full capability. Now, that first hidden setting and feature is using agent mode inside of ChatGPT Atlas because this is going to allow ChatGPT to automate complex tasks for you inside of your browser. For example, we could come over here, we could click on agent mode, and we could choose to either be logged in. So basically, if you have logged in on, this is going to keep you logged in to all of your accounts. If you're logged in to Amazon, Walmart, wherever you're logged in, this will then be able to access your logged in account or you could do logged out where it's going to be logged out and it's not actually going to be able to do things. And then we could come over here and we could choose what we want this to actually create. And we could see in depth all these different prompts here or we could just describe the task. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this draft a personalized investment plan for me. And then this is going to go through and this is going to do all of this. Now, the great part about ChatGPT Atlas is it doesn't just get to work. It actually asks you a few questions most of the time before you do anything. And then it runs off and it actually completes whatever you want it to do. In addition to that, another great part is you can have this automating things in this tab over here while you're doing something else in this tab. Let's say, for example, that we're over here browsing YouTube looking for Rob the AI guy's latest video. Now, in addition to that, if you're doing something in here, let's say you found a video that you like and you wanna build something off of that, you can open up agent mode inside of this specific browser off of whatever you're doing also. Now check this out. The whole time that I've been over here browsing YouTube, this is actually over here, went through, did all of its research, and now this is gonna go through and this is actually going to build out this Excel sheet right here for my personal investment plan. This otherwise would have been something I would have wasted a ton of time and effort doing, but as we can see right here, this is literally going through and this is automating all of this and is going to fill all of it in based on all of its research, which is crazy. Okay, so now here's what this has actually done. This has gone through, worked for eight minutes, and the deliverables are it made a Google Sheet for me and a Google Doc that actually summarizes this. It gives me the links right here to all the different tabs on the sheet and to the doc, and we can see that this went through. This actually created my personal investment strategy right here, gave me different things that I should aim for, gave me a review calendar and next steps, and then in addition to that, it also did the same exact thing in this sheet right here so that I can continue to track it and see how I deviate from where I'm actually targeted to be. But that was just the first new setting and feature. The next one is if you come over to ChatGPT, click on personalization right here, you are now going to see, if you scroll down a little bit, manage right here next to memory. And you're probably thinking, Rob, that isn't new, but here is what's incredibly new. If you click on this now, you could very easily go through here and search for different memories. For example, I could type in Porsche, I could see this memory. This isn't true anymore, so I could come over here and I can delete this. In addition to that, we can actually get ChatGPT to now both automatically manage our memory and actually come over here and sort this by newest, which is going to be the latest memories, or oldest memories. So you can actually go through here and very easily, very efficiently be able to correct memories, be able to change things, or you could just get ChatGPT to automatically manage it if you want. And if you notice any massive changes with your ChatGPT, you could always come over into your into view history and you can restore this to a different version if something got messed up with your memory. Now, the next thing that you could do is you can actually hook ChatGPT up to over 8,000 different apps. For example, you might want to hook it up to Gmail, to Slack, to School, Shopify, HubSpot, Salesforce, or a bunch of different apps based on a bunch of different categories. And like I said, there's more than 8,000 of them. And guess what? You could do that now with ChatGPT very simply. You're going to come over here. You are going to click on this. You are then going to click on Settings. You're going to come over to Apps and Connectors. You are going to scroll down, and you are going to want to hook this up to 
to a custom MCP. In order to do that, you're going to click on advanced settings. You're going to turn on developer mode right here. And then if you come back out here, you'll be able to see that you can click on create and add in a custom tool. We're going to click on Zapier right here. I'm going to name this Zapier. And then you're going to come over to mcp.zapier.com and you will actually be able to set this up. So we're going to come over here. We're going to click on new MCP server. We're going to set this up for ChatGPT, create MCP server. And then we could see that we very easily have the ability to connect this right here by coming over here, copying and pasting this. And then we're going to come back over to ChatGPT. We're going to paste this in here. And then we're going to come over here. We're going to turn this on. We're going to click create. And this is going to go through. And this is actually going to connect ChatGPT to Zapier. We're going to click on allow. And now from here, I'm able to hook my ChatGPT up to all of the different tools that I put in here. And there are more than 8,000 of them that we can actually add. So we get access to way more apps than just like the dozen or so that ChatGPT gives you out of the box. As we can see, this is automatically set up here. And now we're going to be able to access all the different tools that we connect over here. So I'm going to come over here. I want to connect this to Facebook. So I'm going to type in Facebook and I'm going to type in Facebook conversions right here. We'll be able to see all the different things that we can add. And then I'm going to connect this. Then you just go through and you connect this to everything else that you want added into ChatGPT so that you can now chat directly with these different tools straight from here. So now you just come over to ChatGPT, type in at, put Zapier, and you'll see that this will now hit Zapier, which then hits over 8,000 different apps for any task that you want. Now, before I dive into the rest of the crazy use cases that you can now do with ChatGPT and all these different features and settings, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pinned comment below and get started with Zapier AI today for free. If you're trying to hook ChatGPT up to more than 8,000 different apps to help you automate your work, you're not gonna wanna pass this up. On top of that, you're gonna be absolutely mind blown when you see all the different things that this now unlocks with AI and ChatGPT. Now, the next hidden feature is that you can now use ChatGPT in inside of anything if you're using Atlas browser. For example, I'm in a Google Drive right here. I am actually creating a script for a new video and I wanna change the hook here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna highlight the hook, I'm gonna find this little yellow dot, I'm gonna hover over it, then it turns into ChatGPT. Now from here, I'm gonna say, rewrite this hook based on how I do my YouTube videos and this has access to my memory. It goes through, it is going to update this hook right here and then if I like it, I can add it in right here or I can ask it to make another edit. And you could use this inside of docs, inside of emails. You can use this literally anywhere that your browser. Now the next use case I wanted to show you is you can actually add ChatGPT now into your Slack right here, which is pretty crazy. The way that you're going to do this is you're going to come to slack.com slash marketplace and you will actually be able to add all of these different things directly inside of Slack. You could add in ChatGPT, you could add in Perplexity, Claude, Cursor. There are a bunch of different tools. You're just going to click on this right here. This is then going to walk you through exactly how to actually add this into Slack and it shows you what it can actually do. And again, this just makes ChatGPT way more powerful because now it's getting access to your Slack. It's going to be there in Slack and it just gets you to use ChatGPT everywhere. And you could see that this allows you to do some pretty cool things. So not only can you use ChatGPT within Slack, but also you can search Slack messages from inside of ChatGPT. Now, the next use case I want to show you is if you come over to platform.openai.com slash agent dash builder, you can now actually build out custom AI agents with ChatGPT. You could come over here, you can click on create, you could choose how this will actually start, you could add in a bunch of different actions here, for example, an agent right here using whatever ChatGPT model that you want, and you can change all the different model parameters here. You can give it access to different things. And basically, this allows you to create your own version of ChatGPT that you can share with people, you can monetize, or you can just use for yourself or internally. Now, one of the cool things about this is if we come over to MCP, guess what you're going to be able to do? If you click on this and click on add, you can actually go through and you can connect this to a bunch of different tools. So you can actually create a ChatGPT agent that has access to your Gmail or has access to your Outlook email or has access to Square, PayPal, Pipedream, HubSpot, 
But most importantly, you're also gonna see Zapier here. And if you click on Zapier, you just have to go through and enter your Zapier API key. You'll be able to connect this. And then once again, this will allow you to connect to more than 8,000 different apps and different tools. If you want to be able to supercharge both ChatGPT and the agents that you're building with ChatGPT's agent builder, you need to make sure that you are hooking this up because this is the only way for you to be able to get access inside of ChatGPT to thousands of different tools so you can automate anything that you want from in ChatGPT. Now, ChatGPT hidden feature number seven is that if you come over to ChatGPT on a mobile device, you click on advanced voice right here, and then you click on your camera, you can show ChatGPT everything that you see. For example, you can do this and ask it what a certain food is, a certain plant is, if you need help troubleshooting something, and you can turn your camera around here so that it can see anything that you can see. And this right here is a super underrated feature, and you can also talk to ChatGPT, but I have my volume muted right now, otherwise you'd hear her talking back. Oh, and a bonus tip here. If you click on these three dots right here, you can also share your screen with ChatGPT so you can get help when you're doing something on your phone. And then in addition to that, if you're using ChatGPT from your desktop, you're gonna see this record feature right here. If you click on this, this will be able to record anything that you have going on. It can record meetings, it can record phone calls, it can record anything that you can hear. And then when you click on stop here, you could send this to ChatGPT, you could pause it, you could resume it, and we could click send, and then this can actually give us a rundown automatically of what was spoken about. It can know next steps, and this is how you give ChatGPT full context into your life. Now, setting number nine is going to be scheduling out tasks with ChatGPT. If we come over here, we click on settings, you are going to see schedules right here. If you click on manage from right here, you will be able to schedule out certain things with ChatGPT. For example, I have ChatGPT send me Instagram hook ideas every day. I have it send me a reminder to drink water every day. I have it send me a workout plan every day. I have it actually go through my email and send me tasks every day. And this right here can be super supercharged when you use it with all these other different connectors and different apps that you are able to use on ChatGPT. And I would strongly suggest you come through here and you actually create things. For example, if we come over here in Instagram hooks, you could see that basically it's just a name, it's a prompt, and you tell it when it should happen and how frequently, and it automates that out for you. And then you will get both a push notification on your ChatGPT app and an email notification when it actually does these things every day. And then finally, this is something that way too many people overlook. If you come over here and click on explore under GPTs, and let's say that you want something for like YouTube scripts, you could come over here, type in YouTube scripts, and there are probably people that have built out custom GPTs for whatever you are trying to do. We'll give this a second to load and you'll see what I mean. We could see that this one right here, 50,000 people have used this, 10,000 people have used this, or maybe we wanted one for Facebook scripts. We could type in Facebook ads, and this is going to pull up other things related to that. I'm sure there are already people that have trained out very custom versions of ChatGPT, but you haven't taken the time to come in here and look. Again, 50,000, 100,000, 10,000. Just make sure that you use the ones that have a lot of chats in them, and more likely than not, they'll be pretty good at having a custom trained version of ChatGPT for whatever skill you need. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through a bunch of different things that you could do with ChatGPT's new AI agent builder. Because if you're not building with this, you're gonna get left behind. I'll see you over there.